Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, up front, I'd just like to say my wife, Sherry, and I were beneficiaries of a trip to Turkey last year, courtesy of the Institute, and we made a lot of good friends, both in Turkey and here in the U.S., that remain with us today, and we're very thankful that, for that experience. And I hope that eventually everyone gets a chance to go and find this unique country and very unique and hospitable people and enjoy the great meals that we did as well. Um, I just want to say a couple things about some of the things going on in our own country today. And I would speak to the, uh, that it's civility in a diverse world, but also the incivility that's going on in our divided nation. Um, as we've all seen this summer, there, there are a lot of angry people in our country. We see that on TV at these town hall meetings. We've read about it in the newspaper. And certainly with our bad economy right now, a lot of people are maybe out of work or lost their home or about to lose either one. And that has put a lot of stress on our people. And when people are stressed and the times are down, they, it's, it's easy to get people uh, aroused and angry. And I believe, and I'm certain, that some of this anger is natural. Uh, but I also believe that I'm certain that some of this anger is <coughs> fomented intentionally to divide our nation and divide our people. And I'd like to give a bit of a, a very short history of, of, of how this is a pattern of intentional divisiveness. And I'll, I'll close out with a message on that. If you go back 10 or 15 years, there have been a whole series of what I call boogeyman issues. When I was a little kid growing up, my grandfather my older, older sisters would tease me about the boogeyman who was hiding in the basement. And so I, I call these, these, these deliberate attempts to divide us using somebody uh, as the boogeyman type issue. And we started about, about a decade ago with the idea of gays in the military. You saw this in the newspaper and the headlines on the television 10 or 12 years ago or 15 years ago about gays in the military and that that was a bad thing and that we all should be opposed to that thing, that issue. Later it became activist judges. That was the phraseology. Activist judges. And the, any judge who made a decision you didn't like was an activist judge and we should be against those kind of people. Uh, later, uh, the issue was about guns and concealed carry of firearms, or firearms in general. That the government was coming to take away our guns, and we should be against any type of government who, who stood for that. Uh, here, in more recent years, about five years ago, we started to hear about illegal immigration, or immigrants in general, and that Americans should be suspicious of immigrants, and opposed to immigrants, and opposed to immigrants sharing any of the benefits of being here in the United States. Uh, and here, just in the past year or two, uh, the issue has been brought up about our own President Barack Obama and whether or not the man has a birth certificate. But it's always been the same pattern over and over and over. They create a boogeyman, somebody to be against, and then try and tie anybody who they don't like with that boogeyman. And it leads up today to this summer, all this anger and anguish about health care reform. Healthcare reform seems to be the new boogeyman. And if you're in favor of some sort of reform, then you're part of the boogeyman team and you're to be opposed. But it's only been this year that the things are really seem to be getting all borderline out of control. You know, we used to be able to have uh, civil discourse and still be friends, or civil discourse and still be Republicans or Democrats, or civil discourse and still be Americans. But what we've heard this summer is, is the most divided and the most divisive name calling and language that I can remember in my 46 years. This is not a good trend for our country. Uh, I ha had a chance to go to, U well, the former Yugoslavia uh, some years ago, after the breakup of the Yugoslavia, and I talked to the people there, and I, you know, what led to the breakup of your nation? You, you were a country of three types of people, uh, Catholic Christians, Muslims, and Eastern Orthodox, uh, and you got along together for 50 years or longer. What, what led to this breakup? And the people there told me that small groups on either end of the spectrum, uh, either end of the political spectrum, started uh, with this, this nationalist talk, and they started trying to divide and conquer people. And sure enough, Yugoslavia dissolved into civil war, and thousands died. And there's an immense amount of destruction. The destruction. And I, I don't see that happening anytime soon in our country, but this pattern must change. And everybody here has to be one of the change agents. Everybody here must be one of the change agents. It doesn't matter if you're a senator or a suit, a police officer in uniform, a school principal, uh, 
whoever you are. If you are a, a citizen living here, we all have to work together. And every one of us must speak up and speak out when given the opportunity. Whether you're, you're in line at the grocery store and you hear these kind of comments, you should at least say something. Write a letter to the newspaper, the Kansas City Star or your local newspaper. If there's a radio call-in show, say something. You have to speak out. Uh, there's an old saying that silence is acquiescence. I'm not sure that's really applicable here. You know, Americans are trained to be not so much shy, but so many Americans are trained to be quiet and stay in your seat and don't say anything. This is a chance, this is a time when all of us have to stand up and say something. I think it's more important that some of these folks who they're saying these angry, mean things must be challenged every time they say it. And I, it's not a confrontational thing. I'm not asking you to fight somebody or to yell back. But if we don't say anything, then the angry, yeller, yelling people who are divisive win. And I think that's a bad long-term trend for the U.S. This is a great night to be together. I'm sorry to be the one to lay a really heavy topic on you, but someone has to say it, and it starts with all of us. Thanks.